Hey, Coach, uh, Howard and Rousey, such a big part of Marquette's offense. What was your defensive game plan going into tonight? Well, you give up 87 points. I mean, I don't know if um, I don't know if we could have done a better job. I mean, you know, we uh, you know we gave some looks to, to some of their freshmen who um, stepped up and not, didn't necessarily have that on the stat sheet prior to tonight. Um, you know, I thought there were freshmen on on both sides that made some big time plays, and, and what a great uh, Big East game, Big East opener. But um, you know, our game plan was probably not a lot different than a lot of po opponents. You know, try to limit their touches, uh, try to make sure when there was screen and roll involved that our big guys were very uh, cognitive of not leaving uh, until they knew their teammate was in a position to uh, contest the three. Um, but I, I think when you do that, when you extend so much, uh, it becomes really difficult because they're not one-trick ponies. And I'm talking about Howard and Rousey. They're, you know, they'll, they'll dribble around you. And they're quick. They'll get to the rim. They'll open up things for their teammates. But, you know, to hold two of those three uh, under their average, uh, that's about the best we can ask for. And, uh, again, some of their freshmen made some uh, really good plays, uh, big shots, and we sort of had to live with that. Chris, since you usually make an opening statement, is there anything you want to get off your chest before I get into questions? No, just uh, it beats being here a year ago. Uh, we, uh, we have a lot of respect for, you know, Marquette and how they play and, uh, I think Wojo does an incredible job of spacing the floor, making it very difficult. Um, you know, you got a big guy rolling down the lane. It's, if you suck in too much, you got Hauser and Marcus Howard on the backside. It's just uh, they're, they're a special offensive team. They're very aggressive defensively. You know, I think that gets lost a lot. I know they scored a lot of points, but or they gave up a lot of points. But we're a pretty good offensive team, and I think their guys play with great energy. Um, you know, it could have gone either way. And uh, fortunately, we were able to make the plays down the stretch. I know offensive rebounding was a point of emphasis for you guys coming in. Did, I mean, it, the numbers suggest it was an okay outing in that respect. Did, did it meet your standard for Big East play and, and going forward? I mean, we need, we need to be a better offensive rebounding team. Um, you know, I think, uh, I think sometimes our guys assume too much the shots going in. And, uh, you know, we, we have to get better. There's, there's other areas. Um, we're, we're not as good of a rebounding team as maybe we've been over the last two or three years. Uh, but it uh, doesn't mean we can't be. I think nights like tonight humble you a little bit, I thought, in the beginning of the second half. Uh, Marquette's effort, guys flying in, getting extra possessions. I think one of the first two or three possessions of the second half, they get three shots. Rousey ends up hitting a corner in front of their bench, a corner three in front of their bench. And so you can't give any team, let alone this team, that, that many looks from three in the same possession. It's hard enough to defend one three in the possession. I guess I'm, I'm a little surprised to hear you say that. You don't think the team is as good a rebounding team as they've been in years past because... Well, I mean, just, I just mean statistically, if you look at it, um, it bears it out, you know. So we, we, we have to get better at it. I think we will. Um, you know, we, I didn't like the way that um, the Big East sort of did our conference with uh, these games on the 27th. I feel like... You know, we've got a five-month season, and, uh, you know, we're the only sport that has a fall semester and a spring semester, and I know fans and, and, and TV want to see games, but, you know, Christmas Day, you know, I think our kids should be home with their families. And the fact that we're practicing on Christmas, we only had a couple days to prepare. I'm sure Marquette was the same way. Uh, it's no excuse because both teams are in the same bucket, but uh, that's just sort of my feeling on it. But we've we got to get better rebounding the ball for sure. Yeah, Chris, how, how big was JP in the second half, just offensively hitting shots, the block? Um, and when you see when your leaders step into a, an environment like this, do, do you just see him thrive? Do you, does he love this? Yeah, he, he loves it. He's, he's as competitive uh, as any player I've ever coached, and it doesn't matter, you know, what it is. I, you know, I said to, to Bill on the, um, on the interview after the game, it could be checkers, chess, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, he, he wants to win. And sometimes he makes some, some plays that are too aggressive. and Sometimes he puts himself and his team in, in a tough situation. But I, I wouldn't trade him for anybody in the country. I mean, when you have a guy like that that's a senior, uh, all he wants to do is win. You know, he's not grabbing the stat sheet and we get in the locker room after the game. Not at all. I mean, his block uh, in transition where he hunted, uh, I think, Howard down and blocked that thing from behind, that's, that's a game-changing play right there. And uh, he, he makes those type of plays. It's not just his scoring. It's, it's his ability to you know, make assists, come up with key offensive rebounds. And uh, even though he's never been a uh, lockdown defender, he comes up with loose balls and figures out a way to take charges and did it in the first half. And uh, he's a competitor. I love him. 
Chris, when, when you're going up against a team that not just shoots the three, but makes the three as frequently as Marquette, it, 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 does it go without saying that getting the free throw line like you guys did tonight is even more imperative? Yeah, I mean, we, we just wanted to try, and we didn't do a great job in the first 10 minutes. Um, certainly, we always want to be a team that gets to the foul line. But uh, a bigger point of emphasis was, was being able to, to take better shots in the first six to eight minutes of the game, not turn the ball over. And we didn't do that early on. I mean, we had uh, eight or nine turnovers in the first 12, 14 minutes of the game. However, if you look at, you know, by the end of the game, we have 11 turnovers, which is, you know, fairly low, especially when you start out like you're uh, – like we did. So for us, I, I, we didn't want it to be a game of ping pong where they're just coming down, shooting transition threes. That's when Marquette's at their best. That's what happened a year ago, and uh, we, pr we paid the price a year ago because of that. Chris, just looking at the box score here, it seems like the offense is as diverse a team as you've ever had. How hard do you think it is? We talk a lot about what you guys do wrong, do right on a given night, but how difficult do you think it is for teams to cope with that? When you got five players and double figures, and even the one bucket Paul had came at a crucial moment, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's a good thing. I don't have to worry about figuring out how, how difficult we are to guard. Uh, I have enough trouble figuring out other teams and how to guard them. But um, I, I just want our team to always, um, you know, foster that spirit of uh, making the right play. Do what the game tells you. You may get four shots one game. You maybe get 14. You know, we pulled Trayvon out early in the first half and just said, hey, let the game come to you a little bit. You were forcing it. And he's like, I got you, coach. I mean, when you have a senior like that, it's, it's, again, not grabbing the stat sheet after the game. And I've been around those guys before. They're not fun to coach. Um, they don't win games in the long run. And uh, the guys I have in our locker room right now, um, they're not like that. And it's, they're, they're a fun group to coach. I think we have a really good offensive team. Uh, we have to get better defensively, better rebounding. Um, but again, I, I, I like this group. It's a tough place to play and a uh, good win for us, really good. Thank you.